Hello everybody, my name is Celeste Peters and I have said yes to Global Wellness Day. Um, what an honor to be here today and just to be with all of you and I need to thank all of you for being here for us so that we can share Global Wellness Day with you. I'm the Global Wellness Day Ambassador for South Africa um, and it gives me great joy to help others and also to promote being well and being happy. Um, it is my great pleasure to introduce our first speaker to you, Alessio Crociani. I hope I got that right, Alessio, um, who has got a host of titles behind his name. He's my colleague from Global Wellness Day in Sweden. He's a personal trainer, professional water polo player, he has a black belt in judo, um, and he's um, just this incredible person that puts together the most amazing tips for us to improve our lives. Um, and when we were talking, I asked him what he really loved about his job and, and, and what does he do to make people feel better. And he said that every client is different. Everyone has a different background. Everyone has a different story, a different experience. And reaching their goals with them and exceeding in their area is when he learns the most from them and he becomes a richer person. Alessio, that sounds amazing. We look so forward to hearing what you have to say. So it's over to you and I'm looking forward to hearing about your five best tips so that we can improve our lives. Thank you, over to you. Hi, and welcome from Sweden. Thank you, Celeste, for your introduction. And um, I'm, uh, my name is Alessio Grociani, and I'm the Swedish ambassador at the Global Wellness Day. It's an honor to represent Sweden in this important event. And also that I'm really glad that we are going to spend the next uh, half an hour together. In my everyday life, um, I work with people, I help professionals, um, that want to um, perform at the best of their possibilities and i support them from um, a physical and um, for their their physical and their mental uh, well-being uh, i work in the wellness industry since uh, almost 20 years so what i would like to do with you today is to share part um, of this experience and uh, as i told you i work with people helping them uh, to perform in the best way the thing that i'm go that i want to ask you now is don't learn anything of what i'm going to say today i ask you to take notes to review this video later on and to metabolize the information that i'm going to give you in the next 30 minutes uh, because the important part is not what i'm going to say now but it will be the way you will metabolize it for yourself and you will use it in your everyday life so talking about uh, performing at the best. First of all, I would like to ask you, do you know how to reach your personal best? Well, there is uh, a formula that can help us uh, uh, to, to, that can help us to reach our personal best. And the formula says, uh, the personal best is the result of uh, our potential, that is depending on us is uh, in our DNA, minus interferences. Interferences can be internal interferences, so depending on us, an example can be the internal uh, dialogue, or external interferences. External interferences are coming from outside, outside us and uh, most of the time are not depending on us. So potential minus interferences plus resources. Resources are the solution that we are going to use uh, in order to solve our process uh, uh, problems and reduce the effect of the interferences so the resources are our action plan so this is what i want to do today is to give you five tips uh, five easy tips uh, that you can use from now on in order to raise the level of your resources and reduce uh, the impact that the interferences uh, have on your potential 
this will result in uh, a better performance and an improvement of your um, everyday life. So which is the first tip? The first tip is take care of your relationships. Of course, it's not really difficult to understand that relationships for us are fundamental. We are social animals, so anything we are going to do during the day is uh, uh, interaction with, uh, with people. If we are at work, if we are at home, our professional life, our private life, we always have interaction with other people. Fortunately and unfortunately, the society today is turning more and more digital. And this is, uh, from a certain point of view, give us the possibility to, possibility to have more contacts, but on the other hand, is going to isolate us uh, more and more. So we are losing a bit the capacity to have good face-to-face -face relationships. And on top of that, most of the time, we also spend the, the, the time pointing the finger against someone else, always pointing uh, the others for what they do bad with us instead of looking on what they do good for us. So the first thing that we have to do if we want to change the world around us is to change ourselves. So imagine you are going to a restaurant. How would you like to be treated from the waiter? The waiter is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, it's not difficult to, to think that uh, we would like to have someone that is taking care of us, that is available, that is listening to our needs, that is going to give us respect. That is the, exactly the same that other people want for, for, uh, for themselves. So if we are able to give other people attention, respect, uh, to listen, to be able to listen, that is something that is not really, really easy then at that moment uh, they will uh, pay back in the same way if you had a good experience with the restaurant uh, probably you are going to have good memories of the restaurant and you are talking good about that restaurant with your contacts and probably you also go back to this restaurant the same is happening in the relationships if you can treat someone in the best way you can then of course the other one will be pleased and then at that moment uh, it will pay back in the same way and it will have good memories of you and of course it will look at you as a person to talk with so at that moment the quality of the relationship is going to raise so in, uh, in uh, from this point of view what i would like to what i would like you to do is to write down a list of three things that you can do starting from today starting from now in order to improve the relationships with the other people. If you are going to give positive energy to other people, of course, these people will pay giving you positive energy back. The second tip is plan your day in base of the goals that you want to reach. Time nowadays is an absolutely valuable thing. So uh, the, the world nowadays is super fast and we are always uh, into some tasks. And uh, if when I speak with my clients or when I speak with people, uh, everyone is always super busy. Oh, let's say, you know, I'm busy, 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 I'm busy. I don't have time, I don't have time. So of course, uh, time is a precious resource. But there is a big difference between being busy and being effective, being efficient. If, from this point of view, if um, you imagine someone is coming uh, in front of you now and, and saying, you have to do this. Now, you have to do this. Our first reaction is, uh, I have to, no, I don't have to. Who are you to say me this? And uh, who do you think you are? Our brain, um, you have to or you must uh, are called the uh, killer words. Uh, in marketing, because when you uh, say them to someone, uh, the, the brain uh, of this person is going to build a kind of shield. So if someone is going to say, you, you have to do this, the first reaction is to build this shield. The funny thing is that one of the most uh, common tools that we use to plan uh, our uh, everyday life, our agenda, is uh, a to-do list. So 
even if uh, it's things that we write by ourselves, as soon as we read it, even if it's unconscious, our brain is going to build a shield. Because in the to-do list, we are not active, we are actually passive. So uh, we don't feel that we are ruling our every day, but we, there are just tasks that we have to do. So the tip is to switch the to-do list into a list of goals that you want to reach. And this is very important because, um, first of all, your focus is not on things that you have to do, but it's goals. It's not things, but they are goals. And if we follow the para Pareto theory, the 20% of the things that we do during the day are giving us the 80% of results. If we are able to understand which are our priorities, which is our 20%, and we set our goals in base of this 20%, then at that moment, we will have much more result doing much less. And this is absolutely important because most of the people sometimes is doing the other way around. They do the, the 80% that is giving us the, the 20% of results. This is not good, this is not efficient, and it's not effective. Uh, for the quality of our, our everyday life. So set the goals, and the goals are not goals that you have to reach, it's goals that you want to reach. And this is making a very big, important switch in your brain, because when you want something, you are not passive in the action, but you turn active. So you are turning acting, active on doing something that is going to give better results. So switch the to -do the, from the to-do list into the list of goals that you want to reach. And uh, an easy thing that you can start to do from today is every evening or every morning, it depends uh, if you are more active in the evening or in the morning, is exactly to write a list of four or five goals that you want to reach for the day after or if you do it in the morning in the same day. This is a small change that can make actually that can have a big impact in the way you plan you plan your day. The third tip is visualize. Visualize is, is uh, something that um, I recently discovered and that is helping me a lot. I heard this morning there was a speech about visualizing, and uh, it was extremely interesting. Um, imagine you have to leave in the morning you have to leave uh, and you have to say goodbye to someone of your loved ones your partner your kids your friend whoever it is uh, you have to say goodbye because you are going to work and you know that you will come back around lunch time now imagine the same situation you get up you have to leave you're going to say goodbye to someone you love and you know that you are leaving for a business trip and you won't be back for the next five years Will there be the same energy in these two situations? Well, it's easy to understand that uh, it will be completely different emotions uh, in between these two, uh, these two situations. Because uh, uh, on, the, on the first case, you're going to come back around lunchtime. In the second case, you're going to come back in five years. So the energy that you have at the moment is completely different. You are always the same person. Your loved one is always the same person. The action, that is to say goodbye, is the same action. What is doing the difference is the, is the energy. And the energy has been changing because of the picture that you have on the future. We can plan how much we want, but no one of us is really sure of what is going to happen in the next five minutes. So since uh, we don't know about the future, it will be, it, it's extremely important uh, to visualize the future in the best way we can. If we have to create a movie, let's create the best movie we can. This doesn't mean that everything has to be, you know, just uh, dreaming thoughts, uh, but uh, this means that if you see problems, uh, visualize also the problems, uh, but at that moment, uh, you will visualize also the solutions that you, you can apply in order to solve these problems. So visualization has to be positive because when we are positive we also turn creative 
So if we also have a problem to solve, if we are, we are creative, we will use this creativity in order to solve this problem in, in the best way. If we are negative, unfortunately, we are not creative. If we are not creative, the solutions to our problems won't be successful. So the importance is to visualize in the best way, get positive energy, turn creative, and look at what we have to do and the solutions that we can apply in the best way we can and in the most creative way we can. So it's extremely important also that the visualization is going to be extremely detailed. Try to see all the dif different features of this movie that you are creating in, this, uh, in, in your head. Because at that moment, uh, you will activate also a system that is existing in your brain. It's called the reticular activating system. And then uh, your brain uh, is automatically turning also more sensitive to some um, uh, to specific aspect. And then uh, your brain and your body will be ready to face the same situation in the future. So this is something that is used, especially from um, important businessmen before a speech. This is used from uh, portmen before, uh, um, before a competition, be before a performance. So if they use it when they have to perform at the top, is absolutely doable also for us when we have to perform in our, day, in our everyday life. It doesn't take really much. Sit, relax, start to breathe with the belly. So lower breathing, start to feel the, the heartbeat relaxing. And then at that moment, start to visualize. When the body is relaxed, the brain is like a sponge. Give to the brain all the input you want. And uh, as I heard this morning in the speech, 90% of the things that uh, you are going to visualize are going to happen during the day. Tip number four. The tip number four is uh, uh, plan your life, uh, being focused on who you are. And my question in this moment is, who are you? Could you answer to this question, uh, talking five minutes, uh, without saying what you have and what you do in your everyday life. Most of the people have problems to, to answer to this question. Who are you? And it's funny because, I mean, we are supposed to be the person that we know at the best. We know ourselves since we are born. And it's not that we don't know the answer. It's just that we have never been put in focus on who we are. Nowadays, the society is deviating more into what we have. We always say what we have. We always say, uh, uh, you know, um, I have kids, I have uh, this job, I have a car, I have a house. We are turning our trust into what we have instead of who we are. We are um, putting our identity into the things that we own, into the things that we have instead of who we are. So we, we are a bit, uh, we are following a, a paradigm that says, if I have, then I do, then I am. Okay, so if, how many times have you been hearing, oh, if I would have money, then I could do this and this and this, and then I could be successful. This is wrong. We have to change this paradigm and start to think that at first we are, and then we do, and then in the end we have. People that is successful is not successful because they have the money. There are lots of uh, examples of people that has been starting from nothing. What has been doing the difference was, was their uh, psychology. They were already successful people, and then they started to behave like successful people and then in the end they had success they were not waiting for an external resources they were creating the resourcing by themselves so the switch of paradigm is uh, i am then i do then i have and uh, it's very important uh, also uh, to uh, answer to this question who am I, but also who do I want to be?
who is the person that I want to be, who I want to become. If I want to change anything in my in my life, we said that visualizing is important. So if uh, I'm going to think about the person that I want to be. Of course, my brain is going to be sensitive. Is act, we are activating our SAR and uh, we are going to be sensitive to some specific details. So we will start to behave like that person. And then as a result, in the end, we will have uh, my question. We today's uh, your uh, five, main values, the forces that are dragging you in your everyday life. And who is the person that you want to be? What kind of details uh, this person has? In base of this picture that, will, uh, that you will create, start to behave coherent with your, in a coherent way with your values, behaving like the person that you want to become. And then there is the uh, fifth tip uh, that is probably one of the most important one and is uh, be honest uh, with yourself. Um, imagine uh, you have um, a balloon and you start to blow in the balloon and you start to inflate, inflate, inflate. We raise the internal pressure of the balloon and then either we let some air go out from the balloon or the balloon is going to explode. That is exactly what, happen, what happens with us. When we have something that we have to face, something that we want to do because we know that is important for us from a private point of view, personal point of view, professional point of view, and we don't do it, then we start to raise this internal pressure and the internal pressure is raising, 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 raising until we either uh, let this pressure going out or otherwise we are going to explode. And lying to ourselves can be considered a kind of uh, overpressure valve. So we raise this uh, internal pressure until we find a valid excuse because I can promise you our brain is extremely good in um, finding excuses, uh, uh, finding reasonable excuses. And then we start to uh, lie to ourselves, finding, finding the excuse, and we reduce the internal pressure. Uh, and this, uh, I mean, this is normal. Every one of us is uh, doing it. The problem is uh, that this is not really the best way to approach to things, to face uh, thing, important things in our everyday life. Why? Because first of all, if we find an excuse, if we lie, then at that moment, uh, yeah, we reduce our internal pressure, but we don't solve the problem. So the problem will still be there and we, it will start to affect you and it will start to raise your internal pressure again. So sooner or later, you will have to face this uh, again. And there is also another thing is that if now I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to lie to you, automatically your consideration on me is going to sink immediately. So of course you can say good lies, uh, you can say good lies to uh, everyone around you, but there is one person you can lie to and that is yourself. When you are looking at yourself in the mirror, you can really lie because you know which is the truth behind the lie. So in the same way, the consideration of me would go down, the same way your self-consideration is going down. So every time we lie, we are going to low our own self-esteem. So at that moment, we will start to create um, a list of um, uh, credences and convictions that are not good for our self-esteem is, is the moment that people are starting to say, eh, but you know, I'm weak, I'm no good, I'm genetically like that. And we start, you know, to put prints on us and uh, is the moment that we stop uh, and we stop growing, we, st we stop improving. And in the end, in the worst cases, we also stop trying. So we don't even take the first step. So that is, uh, that is the, um, uh, the message. 
don't lie to yourself be always honest with yourself it's better to say okay this is the problem how can i face this problem what kind of solutions can i uh, can i do in order to solve this problem can i do it by myself I, do i have all the resources do i need external help but face the problem one of the first exercise that i do in uh, life coaching together with my clients uh, is to face the energy thieves so what i would like to ask you now is which are your energy thieves write them down energy thieves at work energy thieves uh, uh, in your private life write them down and try to face them ask yourself what kind of action you can do from today in order to um, solve the problem and if you have all the resources to do that and if you don't who can give you these resources in order to do that this will help you much more to understand that there is a problem is going to help you much more to face it and and um, solve it and will also raise your self-esteem much more convenient than just lie and uh, have all the consequences that we talked about so this was uh, the first the fifth uh, tip i hope uh, that uh, uh, what i said in these uh, in these days uh, in these uh, minutes uh, is going to be helpful for you for you and you're going to metabolize it uh, in your way in the next days uh, and is really practically going to help you to improve the quality of your everyday life uh, the last thing that i would like to tell you is um, um, life is a journey everyone has his own journey and um, enjoy the journey when you book a trip uh, you don't book the trip just because you are happy when you come back home you book a trip uh, because you enjoy every single step of the trip including also the moment that you come back home so the happiness in life is not uh, in the end of the journey but is in every day of your single in uh, of your um, every in every single day of your life so enjoy every single moment uh, enjoy every single day this is the day that can change uh, your your uh, whole life so i said yes to global wellness day and uh, i wish um, uh, to all of you a happy global wellness day 2020 and uh, a big hug from uh, alessio and from all sweden bye Global Wellness Day! Today is Global Wellness Day and Daybreaker. I am awesome. Everyone say, I'm awesome. I, I am awesome. Yes, you are. I am awesome. I